If you struggle with your backhand volley, then this video is super critical for you to watch. Today we're working with a student of ours and we're going through step by step how to hit a solid backhand volley. We're not your average tennis coaches. We've moved from all around the nation to build a company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that encompasses our passion. We are Essential Tennis. Ian, Herbie, Megan, and Kevin. Welcome to our ET family. Come join us on our daily tennis adventures. Just come up here for a second. And I want to work on that first unit turn. So I'll do it with you for a second. Okay, yeah. So we want to start here and how you would ever split step and turn. All I want you to do is turn and we're going to position the racket here and I'm going to help you with that. Okay, so turn, good. Turn. Now we don't want the racket too high, but okay. what I do want you to understand is how important this hand is. Okay. So if you're in your ready position and you use this hand, yeah. this hand can pull the racket back oh, to this position. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Now before you had your racket in like this position, feel when you want to extend this arm, what happens? If you want to pull now, yeah, yeah. oh, that's actually correct. If your elbow's pointing down, it's going to go down. We want you to go out, out. now. Okay. This is the first part. So let's just start with the unit turn. Okay. So we're going to start here, here. and we're going to just turn and set this up and freeze there. Good. Oh, is that too far? That's back? too far. So we want to about here. Okay. Do it again so I get sure. It. Yes. Do it again. one more time. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yes. And they give you kind of a, um, a really quick way of kind of seeing where it is. Your hand is directly in line with your back shoulder. Oh. If your okay. hand goes too far. Oh, yeah. And that's uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and have you shadow this, just this unit turn. Good. A big reason why a lot of players don't like their backhand volley is they have really weak structure or framework. So a lot of what Kevin is working on with our student right now is having a strong, solid initial setup with her body and with her racket and her hands so that as the ball comes, she can be in a really stable, solid, structured position so that she can make contact in a really solid spot and then also extend out and through towards her target so she can be really precise and accurate. The path of the racket isn't Sorry, let go with this one. Okay. It's not out this way. Right. Okay, the path of the racket is we're gonna extend this arm and pull this way. Oh. Now I'm slightly tugging on you, which is causing you to lose your balance a little yeah, bit, but, but I want you right. to understand the, the path of the right. racket. Right. When we do this, we're making contact here. Right. And like Megan's been working on uh, having the guide or extension. Okay, so contact. Contact and then extend. Yes, so what I want you to do first of all okay. is Ian's gonna toss you a ball. And I'll demo for you. Okay. So we're going to start in this unit turn here. And I really want you to focus where I'm going to let the ball make contact. I'm here. I just want that. So we're just focusing on the contact okay. first. So a slight pull. Okay. I'm very relaxed. Now I want you to notice how open my racket is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's it. If you have the wrong grip, or your wrist or your hand is in the wrong position, or your elbow is in the wrong position, or your opposite hand is not supporting the racket correctly, then everything ends up being weak and flimsy, and that's how a lot of amateur backhand volleys are. And that makes doubles really tough, or any kind of net play in general really, really tough. When you have that weaker side, that's always kind of unstable and tough to direct. Again, it's not super, go ahead and get in that yeah. first uh, pull position. Good. This isn't super exaggerated. It doesn't have to be that far, but here right. we want to avoid it Anywhere. almost looking where your elbow, the tip of your elbow is pointing is forward versus okay. down versus down. Okay. Oh. Which now makes it, if I was to hold your racket yeah. tug, yeah. you feel how you have more leverage here. Yes. Good. Feel the difference of if you want to pull naturally, where is your racket going to pull? And when I say pull, I always think of this palm because of where your elbow is, right. that's where it's going to pull. So look what's happening now. Oh, yeah. We want to continue to keep this up or up. I shouldn't say up, but I'm pointing right. the elbow here. So now right. where's the pull? The pull is that way. And so your hand's in front, but the racket is still lined up with your shoulder, okay? So we began with just doing shadow swings, really simple, and then some really close, soft underhand toss. And then slowly we've been creating a little more space between myself and the student. And eventually we're gonna get to the point where I'm actually hitting the ball from the baseline. That progressive, 
approach is super critical because otherwise she'll go right back to her old habit. If, we're, if we just tell her, oh, just do it like this, and then we just fire balls at her from the baseline, she'll inevitably go right back to her old, usual, comfortable habit, which is not very structured or solid. And in the process of this happening, I'm extending. So think about the racket path, how it's gonna come across and out, not straight, okay? Yes. We wanna make sure we have that extension afterward, that we're still following that path. So one shadow? Yes. The key is that we wanna wait. You've got, and that's the trickiest thing, that we get excited and you see the ball coming fast and it's like, we wind up in this. And for this side, we really wanna wait. I almost think of counting to five, like while Ian's tossing one, two, three, four, five. The framework looks good. The, the, I think the, the key that you want to really focus on is the waiting. I'm thinking, wait. So you really feel how much time. Yes. Okay. Good. Wait longer. Wait longer. You wait in the unit turn. Yes. You wait even longer. Really, like, go way past where you think you have to wait. Yes. Or, okay. I was That's when I was I, turning yeah. and I'd be yeah. waiting in this position. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 So hopefully that was helpful for you. Gave you a place to start with your backhand volley or gave you some ideas on what to shift or what to adjust or tweak to make it more solid, more stable, more accurate and precise. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.